Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Last time we actually made some story progress by recruiting Latios and Latias and a little bit of an adventure as well as venturing out a little into the what's it called? The fiery fields, I do believe. In which we beat down Entei. That was fun. But, in the meantime, I have done something magical. I did a decent amount of grinding. And, to show for it, I have maxed out my IQ. Which, and also, uh... Uh, did a bit of uh, grinding. I'm now level 60. Eh. But yeah, what's important about m maxing out my IQ is uh, a few special abilities that uh, are very good. First up... Oh, I don't understand this. Why is it when we're in a dungeon, it's a scroll down list, but when we're in the town, it's a side-to-side -side list? That confuses me. Well, first off... I have Super Mobile now, which allows me to walk on water, lava, clouds, and go through walls. I don't understand why the uh, thing right before it, the all-terrain hiker, is the same thing except you can't dig through walls? So it's basically like, oh yeah, two in a row that are the same thing. Also Trap Avoider. Oh wait, no, not Trap Avoider. It's Trap Seer, that's the good thing, because... Basically, if you, uh, at least so far to my experience, I am unaffected by traps now. Granted, my ally can still tr uh, step on them if I have terrible pathing, but... Uh, yay! All of the horrors are killed! The evil is defeated! But... The way I got to maxing out my IQ, because that is a journey into and of itself... Because to get max IQ, you need to get, I think, 990 IQ points. Of which, you get varying amounts of points depending on the gummies that you get. And that can either be from 1 to 7. And I did two different methods of grinding to do this. I'll just show you quickly. Mount Steel, apparently has a penchant for dropping normal-type gummies far more often than others. And it's also a short dungeon, so I figured I'd do that. Until I saw a video, because I was just like, I want a more efficient way of doing gummies. So I looked it up, and there was a YouTube video where if you take Zigzagoon into the normal, like, challenge dungeon at the little uh, sumo guy's challenge dojo, you have a chance every single floor, of which there's two floors and a boss floor that doesn't do it because I'm getting ahead of myself, Zigzagoom has an ability that lets it find items randomly every time it goes to a new normal floor wh while discounting boss floors, which goes into, interestingly... The fact that the little dojo dungeons with the type prereq- well, not type prerequisite, but like the type theming to them, for whatever reason, have the ability to drop that corresponding gummy, as well as various, uh, like seeds and, uh, berries. But, yeah, two dungeons, dungeon floors that you can do quickly, just take some zigzagoon down there. And I power leveled my IQ all the way up. It was a fun time, and now we're going to uh, try and uh, do the thing. We are going to try and conquer the buried relic. Just to note, uh, I am uh, very much paranoid. I went and grinded some more keys in the solar cave so that I am guaranteed to have access to the HMs when I get to their floors. And thanks to Super Mobile, I can get them with my main rescue team leader, Eevee, no problem. I have a few Reviver Seeds, I have a bunch of Apples, and a few Max Elixirs. 
and this is going to be primarily an HM run. Also note that I am not taking the music box with me, which is special of note because if you have the, because the buried relic is the place you go to beat the Reggies to make then the music box. And as far as I'm aware, from what I've looked up, the music box's only like feature is that if it's in your inventory and you're in the relic, you have the chance to spawn Mew and then subsequently get it for your team if you have the right diddly D but I don't care about that. Right now, this is an HM run. HM run now. I also completely forgot to look up what levels the HMs are on, but hopefully I shouldn't have, wait, I just realized something. Shouldn't my super mobile allow me to dig through the walls of the like locked away uh, HM dungeon rooms? Granted, more than likely the keys and how the game functions, it's less of, oh, we're locking you out of this room, and more like we're not spawning that room in there until you put the key in. But yes, either way, I have rambled on enough. We are going to go, and we're going to bury this relic. And I already had a autosave planned. Oh, you have to save, BBB. But luckily, I don't think that I'm going to have to super spam my uh, ability to... I don't think I'm going to have to super spam my save states to get past the shenanigans of this dungeon. But like, especially because I can do that. I'm going to throw... Oh, I don't have my rocks with me because I decided that they're not really all that useful. For the first few diddly dees, I think I will take his bullet seed off, at least for now so that he can uh, focus on, like, not doing that. Moves, moves. And that way he won't go through it too quickly. But, for the most part, ah, take that trap. I am immortal to you now. All of my hatred of this dungeon may very well just be done and dusted. In fact, uh, just so that I can be properly paranoid, I am going to quickly look up the buried relic so that I know what levels the HMs are on, at the very least. Just so that I am not, like, schmiggity smash. Alright. Let's see... Where art thou, motherfucker? 45, 60, 70, and 80. Alright. 45, 60, 70, and 80. A bit weird on the, like, layout of those. Also, a nice music. Kind of a bop for this section. Also, that's... Hmm. We need to kill this thing now. You are not destiny bonding me. <laughs> no, I refuse. But the nice thing about my... We are not taking any allies. I... Because I will save some save states occasionally because I'm going to fat finger that and uh, recruit somebody. But that is just a terrible thing to do. If we recruit somebody, I am basically throwing my reviver seeds away. I honestly don't care about uh, any of those. Any orbs. Sorry, Sneasel. I like you as a Pokemon. But we are not not going to risk it just yet. We'll do small bits of exploration, but for the most part, we're gonna gun it. Hmm. I'm debating on whether or not to turn off Shane's tactic of automatically going after enemies, especially for these early floors.
But yeah, I am just immensely, immensely happy that I have the IQ skills that make this game fun for these later diddly dees. Because now I can just step on a trap and at least the first time not be affected by it, which is just utterly grand. Because that's mainly my biggest annoyance with the game. Is that the the traps, you can't see them coming. Which is like the, the point, I guess. They're traps, but... With no ability to see them coming, and with how devastating they can be! I hate them. Which is why when I r got that trap seer, I'm just like, okay, what's this ability? And it's like, congratulations. All of your dreams have come true. Not to mention that. That PP drop. The PowerPoint drop trap. That early on. Oh, that's painful. That's agonizing. You're going through a 99... I, I can just come over here and kill you. How dare you try to... One annoying thing with the all-terrain ability is that your ally will always be, like, on the way back. So you will forever be uh, in pain and misery unless you go diagonal. Hello, Hitmon. Yes, punch me all you want. I am an Eevee that can go through walls. But yeah. In the future, I'll care about items, but at the same time, I have a ton of H... Oh, not HMs. A ton of TMs. From all about the places and grinding and diddly d and hmm. I can't go on a random adventure. <laughs> Just the random water holes. And that hoot hoot killed himself, denying me experience. The bastard. Granted, if I actually went the extra mile and leveled up Shane's IQ to match my own, my big, big brain, then he would also be able to go on water and lava and stuff with me. But, ha uh, ha no. I doth refuse. Well, not refuse. I just mostly don't want to suffer grinding him as well. Like, I guess it wouldn't be terrible. Full HP and will slightly boost maximum HP. That is a worthwhile swap, if you ask me. If we ever get into a bad fight, that will be very handy. I mean, if I get, I guess if I wanted to, I could put on the X-rays. I could have brought X-ray specs. But yeah, again, we are mostly just booking it to the relevant places. Also, I just realized I don't have enough keys for all the HMs. Because uh, if I quickly take a look, it was. Rock Smash, Strength, Flash, Cut. Oh, wait, no. One, two, three, four. So I have three, but uh, there is still one that I need to find a key for. I'll need to keep that in mind, horror, horror. Hopefully it's not painful. Oh, no. Luckily... My normal, like, bash attack isn't un isn't typed at all. That's nice. Thank God. Genuinely. Because I don't like that trap either, because I experienced that when I was grinding the solar cave. And that is a painful trap. Because it doesn't... It, it, it's extra weird. Because not only... Does it render, like, the item unusable. 
you can't drop it. And if you accidentally do what I did and set it as your active, like, item that you do through, like, uh, the button combination, it will be mean and refuse to let you... Ooh, another one. It'll refuse to let you swap things again. Goodbye, light screen. If I real... I, I pitched that to a ghastly. All of the Ghastlies want to join me for some reason. <laughs> but... I can't imagine how painful this would be if you went Eevee on the, like, remake of these games. Because... I primarily use the... this ability... the normal base attack. And they just removed it. Huh, I didn't think that would work. For some reason, I thought I couldn't basic attack into walls, but eh. But as we adventure through this nightmare world... <laughs> take that stupid trap, I'm beyond you. Or... Well, that's me. Okay, that's stupid. We need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait, but... I could have sworn that, like, uh, that, like, curse icon is shared a bit with the poison, and yet poison is far more devastating than curse. Weird. I do not want you on my team! I do not want any teammates. I'm here to kill. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't even really care of the experience, again. This is to get down as far as possible. Exterminate intruder, exterminate intruder. Shadow ball, bitch. I shall bash you down as fast as possible. Something... <laughs> there was a trap in the boss room? Guarding this item. Do I even care to take it? Oh wait, no, it's not a trap. I guess this is so you can make another music box, but I already have a music box, so we're going to ignore it. This is just an HM run. It's kind of weird seeing one of the villagers of the town as an enemy in here. And it was gulping. Did he walk away from the Link shop? He was just like, oh, hey, old friend. You bash him over the head, he screams. Hello, ditto. Goodbye, ditto. No, I just, I feel like I am rejecting rare recruitment rates. But again, this is just not that run. This is a run with a very specific purpose again. More than likely, if I did accept any of them to join my team, they would just immediately die. Like, I guess I could eat one of the ones that I already have, raise my maximum HP ever so slightly. Dead ends no longer scare me. Hello, Gulpin. Goodbye. Warp Scarf? I just want to know what you are. I'm not going to pick you up. I don't think I know about you. Occasionally warps to another place on the same floor. Why would that be useful? Surprise, he's insomnia. Also, funnily enough, during my solar cave grinding to get more keys, of which, yes, I won short, <laughs> I discovered uh, a dusk stone, an evolutionary stone. And at first I was like, ah, I could evolve into Umbreon. And then I looked it up and know you need a Lunar Ribbon. Which at least is along the way of the Mirage Pokemon, like, quest line that I activated last time. So, it's not all bad if I so choose. It's just that I wanted to do this dungeon first. Because it's the biggest one, the longest one that we currently have. There are other 99 floor dungeons that we'll need to get to, just not today. Unless we accidentally do it. 
It was like, oh yeah, we'll do this one. And then I just keep going and it keeps going and I'm just like, but what's happening? Where are we? Why is nothing ending? That would be kind of funny. And we got a music change to a kind of, I forget, a default-ish? This feels default. Don't you dare do your little, I'm going to throw damage back at you. I reject you, Wobbuffet. Okay, it's like 40. Diddly diddly dee. Basically, once we get to 40 on all, like, 10s and 5 levels, we need to go ham on searching. I love the music in these games. And apparently they redid the, like, basically made remixes for the remake on the Switch. And from what I heard, those are also very nice. I heard one, and I liked it. So I, I based them all off of that. That's how opinions are made. Who needs to actually follow paths when I can just burrow through walls? I can understand why that is like a late game, like super late game ability. Again, I had to... <clears throat> Bring on the horde! Okay, hopefully this doesn't annihilate me. Thank God. If I, yeah, if I remember correctly, that's just like if it lives. It does damage back, but if it dies, it's fucked. And we'll just handle the the bob the bob rush, the uh, mob rush from over here. This is, <laughs> and they put the stairs in there, the dicks. Assholes. Oh, well, that's bad. At least he's dead. Well, this seems like uh, no better time than any to use the citrus. I don't think it raised my, my HP. Darn. Maybe it's like a one-time thing. Intruder, exterminate! Intruder, exterminate! We shall bash your face in. And now you are dead. Once again, we will ignore the component to make the music box. I still don't understand why it's a usable thing. And you're like, ah, I'm gonna use the music box that I just got. It crumbles to goddamn dust. You just went through the first half of the buried relic to get this item and the game is like, fuck you. I don't understand that. <laughs> That's such a weird design decision. Apparently in the remake on the Switch... Let's see. Hmm. We'll go as far as we can and then we'll use our huge apple because that increases our... belly at the same time. And now we want to annihilate you. You fool. You should have done counter. It might have actually damaged us some. Also, apparently, while I was looking this stuff up, uh, if we go to my ability, it should be... Yeah, again, it's uh, now a downward instead of a diddly d. It's weird. Hmm. Like, apparently somewhere, it's like implied that the all-terrain ability should take belly and, like, uh, drain it as you use that ability. But it doesn't. According to the, like, uh, Pokemon... I forget exactly what it was. It was on one of those Pokemon websites. It's like, psych, it's not actually. Right as I hit that Shininja, I was just like, wait, isn't this, like, that one Pokemon that's, like, impossible to kill in these games? Why are you using Struggle? Oh, because you were a dipshit. Ooh. 
But yeah, I brought tons of Reviver Seeds and Apples because I just, I knew I'd need them. I will find an actual item to drop those rocks with. Else if I drop them, Shane will just pick them up. Be gone. Uh, be gone. No revenge for you. Your revenge plot is over. Die. And thus he did. Let's see. Huh. I thought you'd actually survive two. He decided to die on one. We'll just annihilate this fool and just keep on running. Because again, we need to get to the end. Oh, hey, it's uh, Makuhita. Away from his dojo. Asshole. Asshole. Seriously. Congratulations, aside from that revenge hit, you are the one to do the most damage, and once again, no. And as a reminder, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a save state, just in case I accidentally... Hmm. I think I accidentally stepped on that, and then... Well. I'm going to take that as a sign. Haha. <laughs> Fool. Oh, hey, it's the super shades that you can... Oh, oh, they're golden, so I thought they were the super shades. But they're the scope. Boosts critical hit rate for moves and attacks. Well, I might as well get rid of these rocks while I'm here. <laughs> like, I would have, uh, like, sucked it up if... Like, that one diddly D happened and I hadn't just literally saved. If even if it was, like, one floor away, I'd been like, eh, I'll suck it up. Unless it was that stupid one which is like, aha, it's sticky and now it'll stay in your inventory forever. Then I might have gone the diddly D and would have been like, eh, screw you. It's one thing to make an item unusable, it's another to, like, stick it in your inventory forever. Granted, it, if I'm correct, it doesn't, like, destroy the item like it does to, like, grimy, like, it doesn't go and, like, make an apple into grimy food. It just makes it, uh, the item sticky. And then, from there, goes hotly to ha ha ha. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can feed this to the boy. No, not switch. Throw. Oh, because it was sticky. Weird. We are getting close to the first one. Ah, perfect time. Huge apple time. Nom nom. Maybe we'll do some exploring to see if we can find a fourth key slightly early. The sooner that we find a another key, the less time we have to panic and worry in the future. Also, apparently, funny thing. Apparently, there's a glitch in this game. I forget if I went over it another time. I probably did. But hey, this is a long dungeon. Uh, funnily, in this game, there's a glitch when it comes to recruitable boss monsters. Because overall, like with the uh, like legendary... I'm going to fucking disable that, you dipshit. Oh, it has no effect. Why you keep doing it then, moron? But, like, legendary Pokemon that you can defeat and recruit, for the most part, 
like, they have a lot of health when you battle them, but then they become, like, normal Pokemon levels later on once you actually recruit them to keep the balance. But if you throw a Reviver Seed at them and it activates, then... If you beat them again, recruit them like that, they'll have their boss monster ex <laughs> HP instead of the player HP, which is highly amusing to me. I'm just not even going to deal with that. I'm just that. Uh, I leave. I'm not going to deal with that. Intruder, exterminate. Intruder, exterminate. And now you can have your moves back because you're not going to be being a dipshit with them. Schmickety schmack. Apparently he was insulted. Ow. Rude. Be gone. And we're going to cheese this by walking up and down to uh, heal our wounds while we're in this room where nothing can hit us. Ha 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 ha. Suck it, Mystery Dungeon. I am your master. I am eternal and powerful. Once we're just then that should be enough. And as always, just a little emergency save in case something catastrophic happens. Because I don't intend to abuse them. X-ray specs. Hmm. Because right now, I guess I could periodically take a look. So there's two items to the left, and that's it. And if they're not worthwhile items, we just need to focus on... Hmm. This one out will be good. It it's not sticky this time. Eat it. So yeah, each floor I'll take a look at that to see uh, where things are. Alright. Four bottom, two to the hard left. I guess we'll go to the left and loop around to the others. And I'm just keeping the stamina band. I don't know if it, like, actually stacks with my like, a uh, IQ ability, which makes the belly go down slowly? I do not know. But I have it on regardless. Honestly? Huh. I wonder why rocks do so much more damage compared to sticks. Well, by the way, now we go down and swoop around. It'll probably just be money, but... I should probably be taking a careful look at the, like, diddly dee box. And actually, speaking of, I'm going to turn that off again in case we need it for later. And there's more items over here that we're quickly going to take a look at, which are nothing valuable. And now we shall leave. Two more floors until the most important of importance. All right. Upper right corner, lower, so it's like lower left, middle, and then upper right. Be gone, Sand Shrew. What is with Sand Shrews and throwing sticks at me? Better it than the spikes, I guess. Now we're gonna quickly just run all the way to the top right to. S oh, bugger off you! You're, you do one damage to me, I do one damage to you. You use harden, it does nothing. Why do you even do harden? It, it like does nothing. Harden does nothing, I swear. Because I still do one damage. Eh, it's just spikes. Now we'll just wander our way back to the actual floor. And 
now. Ah, just up away. Hello, Sand Shrew. You must die. I am so eternally grateful that poison doesn't stick around between floors. That would be just evil. Is it a Reviva Seed? It's a Warp Seed. We don't care about that. Oh, and I also have another ability from my IQ that makes it so that my basic attack, Diddly D, never misses. <laughs> like, it, it, there's probably some circumstances that it can still miss on, but... Overall, it's just like normal circumstances it can't miss. And because I forgot, let us see. X-ray. Uh, two up here. Then just all the rooms surrounding the room that we spawned in. Good, good. Oh, an explosion bastard. How dare you exist in my home. And plus, we wouldn't even want to leave anyway. Jesus Christ, so many traps. Hmm. And we still need to look for the... Unlock box anyway, because this is number 40. Fine, I'll just burrow my way through. Screw you. Where's the unlock box? Did I go the wrong way? Did I miss it because I'm stupid? Unlock box! This is level 40, which is where it should be. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kill you, so... Hmm. Did I misread? I wonder if the diddly-dee would, like, the x-ray specs should show me. <laughs> I'm going to double-check. It's... Oh, 45, not 40. I'm dumb. But now we just need to enter into the zone of checking super hard on every single, like, even floor. Or an odd floor, because five is odd. Hmm. But basically, every single floor, a five or an even ten, I'll need to be super paranoid on. Hello, hello, kid. We'll just annihilate you quickly. I forgot. I should... I keep forgetting to do my x-ray specs. Bottom to the left. Man, they're both here. Money and diddly -dee. Now we're gonna head back up. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably just beeline it across water and rock to the exit. At the risk of my ally getting nuked by enemies. I wonder if it's possible to spawn into a monster house. Probably not. Two at the bottom. Hmm. Doubtful for them to be like actual keys, but I guess I'll quickly... Oh, hey, they're right next door anyway. Money and stick. Hmm. <laughs> and then the Elekid train came in to say hi. Would you like to die, it said. No, I screamed. Hmm, there are three items here. Are there any items anywhere else that are... One down below? I guess we could quickly take a look there. Hmm. Let's see. My moves are pretty good, so... Here. Ah, just money. Always just on the offhand chance that it could be 
a key, I want to give it a shot. Lol. <laughs> I wonder why he's unaffected by Leer. It's probably something I should know about his capabilities, but I am a terrible partner. Oh, hey, a citrus. I might as well eat it and see if it works. As ah, it does work. I'm a moron. Could have sworn that the last one I tried to eat didn't work. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, basically everywhere. shall try and just take a look-see. Cherry berry, not really. Hmm. Yeah, most of these are probably just like money and stuff, but I always want to make sure. At least take a good gander. And apparently another Pokemon went up there to join that one in rest. This is where I believe Rock Smash should be. So we need to be slightly careful. Oh. Uh, and the trap ability has screwed me over slightly. Oh, it's kind of weird that you have to go down here and use a key. And now Rock Smash is mine. Oh, you can't even go through them. They are indestructible. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm going to wander around this area to see if there are, like, any... Da -da -da -das. There's one up that way. I'm going to see if it is a key. Need to go directly up, all right? I'm happy that I got that. Ah, uh, just an apple, but it, that's still useful. I have come to kill you for an apple. How does that make you feel? And since it's on the ground, I'll go ahead and eat it. I could have probably dropped something that's less important. Like, if you wanted that, just that, you could have it, but uh, I know you're going to smite me, so I'm going to kill you. No TM for you. Alright, as always, or as I like to have always, two items. Upper, middle, and right. We will see, we will see if we get to them. Rock. We'll just go through the wall. It's just diddly D. And you're gonna fight him. Get him now. The game is nice to have thrown X ray specs my way. Because now I can know. Alright, upper, middle, and right. I guess what we'll do is we will adventure to the right. And then go up. Oh, hey, another apple. Hmm. You are worth throwing away a special band for. I wonder if, like, enemy Pokemon can grab... diddly uh, the keys. That would be mean. Possible, but mean. Thank you, Trap Seer. That is such a handy ability. As well as being able to just go through walls, that's also a nice ability. All right, we'll go up, looped around to the middle. Because we need to find keys.
We, well, we need one key at least. Lol, you missed. Now die. And I think that's it, so we move on. We'll annihilate this man, grab that money. No, we don't want you to join our team. This is a dangerous place of hell. We'll jump to the right, come back up. Because this is about going as fast as possible. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's just a rock. Why are you focused on me? Bastard. While Elicate, no. Leave. Well, there's money. And then the next one, we have yet another. We'll beat this guy, and then I, I guess I will quickly see if I can discover if the other H any of the HMs are disposable. Because uh, the game is being mean on whether or not I need them. All right, let's see. Da -da -da. Apparently, strength doesn't seem like it's useful. Let me just quickly look up. Because I wonder if it's like certainly some of the HMs are like disposable. Or like not all that useful. Would be nice if I could just wish that there was just like. Mm. I wish there was like a list of like important HMs. Do I need or do I not? That would just be nice because it's just like. Mm. I want to know. I just want to know if the HM is necessary for anything. They are called HMs, but for all I know, they might not be important. that require an HM. All I want is to know. you. I just want to know which HMs are important, damn you. Hmm. I guess I will do, I will look up a guide and just look through. Maybe it'll tell me if strength is useful. Well, this guide just mentions strength three times with no relation to anything.
Oh, and apparently Strength doesn't require a key, it requires Rock Smash as an ability. Hope I don't actually have to use it. I'd be ever so slightly annoyed. Then again, I could just go to Gulp and then immediately get it. I just want to know. Okay, so it seems like all of the HMs in this dungeon are worthless if this guide is, like, not a lie to me. But I guess I'll still grab them, because we are here. Wait. I think I already passed one. I think I am Le Fool. Yep, strength is on 60. Well, I am a fool. Time to reload. How far back? Pretty far back. Because I am Le Fool. Ah, uh, well. At least we know there are no diddly dees. Just like, wait, is my x-ray spec? We have our x-ray specs, so I'm just going to say screw it to all this until we get to... Let me double check, because I'm being paranoid now. I am losing my mind. So yeah, it's just 60, then 70, 80. Odd that it's like 45, then 60, so... Only look on the tens from now on. Because 45 is... Not worthwhile to these games, apparently. We'll just find the quickest way out, because... I have no need of keys, apparently. Unless the game is mean, it's like, aha, you need Rock Smash. And I don't know if Eevee can learn Rock Smash. I feel like... For the most part, the hero should be able to learn any HM. If only because that just feels, like, slightly worthwhile. Yeah, we'll just go super fast to get to level 60. I don't even care about you, money. I can get money elsewhere. And that is why I keep save states on hand. Because some maybe I will be a super fool. And this is not a dungeon that I care to, like, immediately redo due to my own incompetence. Die, sand shrew, no one loves you. We'll quickly update that save state. Ah, thank you, Trap Seer. I do find it kind of amusing that they were like, hey, let's add trap. Okay, the the music change uh, took me off guard for some reason. I don't know why. Like Obviously, I would have noticed the, like, music change from earlier. Wait, what? Wait, what? My brain is on fire. Ball strength apparently isn't needed anyway, as far as I'm aware. But that's just weird. I could have sworn I was on level 45. Or was I on 55? My brain is on fire. Ah. Well, oh well. Worst comes to worst, I will speed run the dungeon and... Hmm. Yeah, I am a super dumb dumb. Huh. My brain is just on fire. 
Because I could have sworn we were, like, way, way further back. Oh, wait, no, we are basement 50, level 61. I'm a big dum-dum. My reading comprehension, as you can see, is just the greatest. Granted, putting number next to number is odd, a little bit. Like, maybe level should be... Like, the, like, uh, the basement level could be, like, on the other side of the health bar to really break it up. I don't know. But that is a very niche issue that my reading comprehension of brain going five billion miles per hour. <laughs> Granted, doesn't help that my actual character level is in the range of the levels that I'm specifically looking for, so... Don't you just gotta love hilarity? Huzzah! Level up time! Even if level ups aren't really that exciting in this game because all levels only go up by one and apparently you're more supposed to get your, like, stat boosts through vitamins, which is a little weird, but eh. Okay. Keep it in mind, we want to search level 60. Not character level 60. Basement level 60. Oh no, I've been substituted. Ow. Now I have to let this go away before my ally kills me. That's got to be probably the deadliest move for the Mr. Mime against me. They're like, surprise, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna let your ally kill you for us. Which, hey, smart move. Bastard though you are. Hmm. If there's like an exorbitant amount, no, there's only one, then I don't care. Watch that be the key I'm looking for. <laughs> the game is like, oh, you want to get a, a go on? Then fine, get a go. Uh, there's a batch of three items over there that we'll take a look at, at the very least. They're nearby. I love that I can do that. Eh, uh, specs and some TMs, they're worthless to me. Like, maybe if this was a item run, but this isn't an item run. This is an HM run. That, for some reason, my brain just crumbled over <laughs> because of the goddamn character level. I mean, I really should be paying more attention because it says the, 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 the actual basement level there. This is number 54. My brain's just like, I can't believe I'm 61 already. Because, you know, that's what a sane brain thinks. Reading comprehension. Apparently it's not my best. You'd think that my reading would be better considering I've been playing tons of Ace Attorney lately. And on top of that, speaking of, I do believe that I am super prepared to play as many Ace Attorney games as uh, there are, I do believe. Okay. Again, this isn't an item level that I know. There are no items! Okay, we are looking for the end. It's two seeds, that's it. Okie dokie. Sure. Once again. Hmm, three items. But they probably aren't, but at the same time, I should probably still look. Ah. Coming for you, item. Man, just more x ray specs. Let's see. Do -do -do. I shall eat a big apple since we were getting dizzy. 
that is all, so we shall go. Why are you just so determined to attack us? We want to leave the floor. We will annihilate this Mr. Mime from existence. But as we go through this routine of looking at items, we'll go down to the right and then basically go. But I've been playing more diddly dee, what's it called? The Pokemon Legends Arceus. Because personally, I think aside from the Mystery Dungeon games purely on the uh, narrative and feel, like when it comes to a more traditional Pokemon game, which is hilarious because I'm fairly certain that a lot of people go would protest that, say that it's not actually a real Pokemon game. For some reason, it feels pretty traditional. It just doesn't focus on gyms. It hilariously focuses more on the gotta catch them all aspect, which is literally the slogan of the series, or at least it was for a long time. And people go like, oh, but it doesn't even have all of them. But Pokemon Legends Arceus is just a fun time. I am slightly disappointed that there's, like, not multiple save slots for it. Because that would be nice to be able to just go and do it. Mostly because I want the cool, like, uh, what's it called? The mystery gift, like, clothing items. But, sadly, you can only do the mystery gift items if you have a uh, Nintendo account linked, but the only way to do a second playthrough without purging the game and thus losing the previous uh, mystery gift items is to make a like new uh, like a profile on your Switch, but you can't just like use the same diddly d again. The same Nintendo account, so I can't get the nice drip. Which is saddening to me. I guess I will ingest this, because I have been using it. And now we will search for the place that we need. And hope that it isn't actually using the Rock Smash ability, but just go through the walls, which is what I would assume it to be. Because I just feel like Rock Smash would be the ability to smash through the walls. And not just random, like, this is your contextual button press of the day. Granted, I guess it could be. Making sure it's not in this conspicuous big area. You tried to do it through a wall, stupid. I guess it could be this way. And it is. Of which we shall now swap out this scope lens for you. Well, actually, this special band. Thank Lord! We will get to the stairs, then I will make a duplicate save state of fear. Paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me, like this Mr. Mime! But yes, back on to thoughts of randomness. The... Because I want to play Pokemon Legends Arceus again, and currently am on my own time. Because... I don't feel like it's very efficient to be like, I'm going to stream a game that I have already beaten on stream. I just feel like that's very, like, not efficient. Because I'm also replaying the Mass Effect trilogy because Brain was just like, hey, do it. Play Femshep so that you can romance Garrus. So I'm currently going through that. Is a fun time. But with Pokemon Legends Arceus, it's just very sad that I can't use the normal... 
Babidi Ba. Trying to think of words. The mystery gift to actually get the mystery gifts. Because you need a Nintendo account for the Switch games, I guess. And it's just sad. Then again, I guess it kind of makes sense because... But at the same time, not really. I don't know. Because all I want is the the neat Hisuian Zoro... Zoro... I have no idea how to pronounce many of the things. But the, the special shiny mask that's like the last mystery gift that will ever be activated for Legends Arceus. And I just wanted to get it because it was the normal variant of that mask was my favorite thing to wear in the previous, like, playthrough. But now I guess I'll just have to experience what it means to actually <laughs> utilize the normal. Well, ain't you a bastard. I'll just have to utilize the normal clothing options of the game. Hey, apple time. I guess I'll eat you off the ground. I wonder if the game wasn't giving me uh, keys to the HM dungeon diddly-dees because it knows that I already have keys and it's just like, ah, oh, no duplicates for you, which would be an interesting, like, check for the game to make, but not unforeseeable. Another apple. Why do all the Rhinehorns want to join me? Well, I guess we can throw the Scopelins down for you, normal apple. I shall kill you. You dare diddly dee in my face? Well, now you will die. And again, we only need to worry about the clean, like, Bobbity Buzz, like level 80, level, well, level 70, and then level 80, not level 80, level 90. Do not think I need to worry about that. We'll take the money at least. And then I guess after we beat the buried relic, we. Well, come to hell! Not what I wanted. I want it... Oh, because I can't do it like that. Okay. Because what I wanted to do was... Uh, diagonally walk into the, uh, like, wall to break it. But you can't do that. You can't diagonally go through the goddamn wall. My bad. Luckily, the Rhinehorn are weak as fuck. But, ouch. And for some reason, these guys aren't dealing nearly as much damage as they were to Shane earlier, which is thankful, I guess. I find that slightly insulting. 74 pokey. I still find it amusing that... Pokey are minted by a Meowth and his team of unknown. Granted, I could have been trolled on that, but that would be a neat little lore thing to include because it would make sense for a Meowth to be a bank, like, be the creator of money in the Pokemon world, considering that it literally has a move that creates money. So, probably that's the basis of the entire thing. Once upon a time, there was a Meowth that used the ability, Payday, and it just had these golden trinkets, and other Pokemon were like, yo, that's sick. And he, then he knew he was going to make money. And that is how po <laughs> Pokey Capitalism started. But what about Pokey Colonialism? Now I want a mystery dungeon game set in Hisui. Wouldn't it be funny if you, like, did that with, like, ah, Hisui, but in, or, like, 
however it's pronounced. But instead of, like, all the characters being, like, ancestors for their future descendants in other Pokemon games, and Ingo for some reason just randomly being there, hello, yes, I am train person from black and white that randomly got sucked into the past. Would you like to have a fight? But wouldn't it be amusing if there was a Hisui region mystery dungeon game? And you had like Pokemon that were named after the like main characters of Legends Arceus. And then you could just have a Sneasel Ingo there, who is also like, ah, yes, you were once human. I think I was too. But now I am a Sneasel. I think that would be hilarious. Just keep making games kind of set in the Legends Arceus setting, and Ingo is just there always, like, dear God, will my suffering never cease. And as always, I shall eat this off the ground. Nom nom. Or hell, actually, for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, but it's Hisui game, instead of having Ingo be the Sneasel, have Emmett be the Sneasel. Where he's just like, I, I was looking for my brother, that's all I know. I was human, looking for my brother, and now I am a Sneasel. Fight me. Why not? And now we shall use a Daki. And now we have Flash. Which, again, I don't think is actually used for any dungeons, but who knows. Mostly because the little guide that I looked up, all I did was word search like Flash, Strength, and they didn't say anything. They probably are more like utility moves, I would guess, than actual you-can-go-place moves, I would assume. So, like, if you used Flash here, you would no longer be bound by the darkness, even though that's hardly really a thing to worry about. Rock Smash lets you go through walls before you get the IQ ability to go through walls, but I hated this dungeon so much that I got the ability to go through walls before getting the HM that let you go through walls. It would be funny if Rock Smash was basically the IQ version, or like the move version of the IQ specialty. Where you're like, if you have this move learned, you can walk through walls. But it uses power points or whatever. Now we just need to be careful until we get to level 80. Ah, screw it, let's super fast. Unless the, the difficulty just spikes the hell up the last 20 floors, I feel like things should be relatively smooth sailing. We are two-shotting most of the Pokemons. And, uh, all of the monster houses we've ran into haven't been terrible. I wonder what you are. Racket Band. It's probably an insomnia inducer. I don't care. We'll just speed run all the way to level 80. Well, that answers my question. You can indeed spawn into a monster house. And I think these guys know explosion. <laughs> what fun. And you know what? Even detect. Because uh, this is uh, going to get messy. Okay, good. The Gravelers are... Oh, no. That one moved after the other one, and now it might explode on me. But it would hit the other Graveler! If it did do that! Okay, I'm going to smack you, so you don't get any smart ideas. I think it is a very rude mechanic that you can spawn into monster houses!
Oh, you can handle that. But yeah, if multiple of those guys decided to explode, I don't think I would have survived. Granted, they probably also would have hit each other, but... <laughs> oh. No. No. I reject you. I reject your nightmare fuel. How much money do we have? We have a lot of fucking money. But yeah, that's just very rude. I forget where I was. Was I talking about having a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Hisui so that we can basically just have Emmett also be taken away? Never t t again shall the brothers meet? Because why not? Let's torture people. Is that even ever explained why... Arceus stole too many goddamn traps. Beat up the Mawile. And again, since we are on a breakneck pace of uh, the game is out to get us, <laughs> let us keep on going. This is it. Again, so many traps. Thank you, Trap Seer. With your partner having Trap Avoider and you having Trap Seer, it basically nullifies traps in this game unless you're dumb enough to walk on them again, and I am happy for it. Because, again, I think the traps are poorly balanced in this game. Traps as a concept are interesting and can make it, like, a more engaging experience to a degree. But I just felt like they were too punishing for, like, what they did. Scope lens, not the gold, like, sunglasses. Because, like, a thing that can punish the player for moving improperly, I don't mind that. It's kind of like being able to walk on or, like, go over lava. But if you're not a fire type and you go over lava, you get burned. I don't mind that because it's just something that you're supposed to keep an eye out for. And again, I feel like traps should be, like, discolored tiles rather than... Just randomly screw you, player. You will now suffer. And cut. Which, again, I do not think is used anywhere for anything. I wonder if... Is that why they're in the Buried Relic? Because this is a dungeon where all the relics of games past and are no longer really needed go? Is that what they're getting at? Congratulations, you are in the Buried Relic, where all the... Well, yes, they are HMs, but they actually don't do anything. Except for, like, Rock Smash, apparently. Like, again, maybe Flash is capable of dispelling darkness, like we currently have on screen. And maybe... I have no idea what Cut would do. I have no idea what Cut would do. I have no idea what Strength would do. We are just going to speed on out. Like, maybe we should take a glance around, see if there are any, like, rare items. Fire Blast. We have Fire Blast at home. Literally. Hmm. I guess we can dig through the wall down and see what the down and to the right is. I make my own way. <laughs> I do like this ability because of how much it just like 
crushes the concept of these games. I guess that, like, does make sense of, like, why they are, like, literally the maximum level things. The penultimate level and maximum level IQ is walk on anything and go through walls. Which is hilarious because I think there's actually a equipable band item in this game that lets you go through walls, but it drains your belly, like, ridiculously fast. Which is funny that the I IQ version is just so much better. How can you go through walls? Well, you see, I wear this item that allows me to go through walls. Really? I just ate a bunch of gummies and got brain swole. I got so goddamn smart that I can just go through walls. But yeah, my grinding has definitely paid off because we are like... Aside from a few handful of uh, moments where the game was just like, now you take lots of damage. There has never been a moment that we were, like, actually in danger, let alone run in danger because of, uh, like, lack of reviver seeds. Hello, Apple. I shall eat you off the ground. And let me quickly check the buried relic page again, just to make sure. And nope, it should be cut was on level 80, and that's it. So, yeah, we are all good until we just get to the end. Bizarre. And I will use the X-ray specs to divine where items are. And see if I care enough. I guess we could loop de loop around to see those items. Die, Haunter. <laughs> it has little effect. Because, for whatever... Again, I feel like... Ghost attacks should, like... Do more... To normal types because like normal types can't touch ghost types I assume, excuse me I assume so it's just funny they're like I am a ghost that thing that you cannot touch and you're like aha but I can touch you We'll get the, take a look at those two items down there, and then find the exit for this floor. I shall annihilate you along with my ally. I also do love that this, at least in moments like this, m makes it so that done like tunnels allow us to double team enemies while if there's a conga line of enemies, they are stuck waiting. This IQ ability breaks the action economy. I really wish I had the opportunity to, like, play a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like, Dungeons and Dragons. Pokemon Mystery Dungeons and Dragons. It just works. The perfect title. That's the problem with being a friendless hermit like me. You can't force people to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Dragons with you. Well, that's rude. How dare you stand in the wall just being a jerk. I wonder if they're like... Obviously, I know that, like, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Dragons exists, but I wonder if there's been, like, a lot of thought put into it, like, how much of it is Dungeons and Dragons, and how much of it is Mystery Dungeon, I wonder. Is 
would be interesting to know. Granted, there's probably a, like, I could assume that there's multitudes of, like, attempts at making it. Haunter comes out of nowhere to steal my lunch money. Asshole. Be gone, Satan. Yeah, I just wonder, like, if encounters could only happen in mystery dungeons. If what the mechanics would be behind it. How you would translate the RPG elements of Pokemon to Dungeons and Dragons. Fight me, you fool, and die. And now we're basically at the end end. So I'm just gonna run about till we find the exit and go. Because I just don't really think that any items that we find will be, like, super interesting or worthwhile. Like, maybe they'll be TMs, but I have a shit ton of TMs already. I don't see any, like, legendary evolution items in here. But it's actually kind of funny. The game's like, fine, you want to get out of here? Get out of here. Take these conveniently placed stairs to get out of here. Don't let the steps hit you on the way out. There's just a lot of haunters in here. Be gone, haunter. How dare. Oh, no. I think these are the guys that like to explode. What band are you? Detect band. What does that do? Boost Pokemon Invasion. But I prefer the boring but practical stamina band. It just means that I don't have to carry as many apples. Even though I went crazy and have like a million apples. But at the same time, it's hard to really be like, oh, I should carry less apples when the game quite literally throws not that many apples at you. It feels like the apples it throws at you is seemingly random. Be gone, Satan. Are you going to explode? Ah, I didn't ask. <laughs> because when an enemy hits you, you auto-lock onto them. So normally I just spam the attack button. But then occasionally the enemies will just miss you and they'll go, haha, you fool. You miss because you got lucky. And through your complacence, you got unlucky. I find that hilarious. That that only hit me. I create this magnitude 10 earthquake. And it doesn't even go two spaces. <laughs> and because paranoia, you never know. The game might just be like... Surprise! A monster house of enemies that just decide to summon Satan himself, who will dance a musical number all the way to hell. I guess I should also, like, unrestrain Shane. Like, all these times he's just getting punched in the face. It's like, oh dear god. <laughs> Team leader, can I please use my I, my abilities? I'm just like, no. We must savor our abilities for important things. But I'm dying! Important things, Shane. Jerk. I find it hilarious. Like, I distinctly remember a bunch of these guys exploding all over the place in, like, the not-so-distant past when we encountered them. And now, all of a sudden, they're just acting all 
nice and stuff like, oh yeah, we'll use rollout and not explosion. Granted, I feel like explosion is a bit cheap. It's like, ah oh, yeah, it does like half your health. Why? Ah, oh, it's explosion. <laughs> Why would you go there, you dip? I was like, ow, oh, I'm gonna get us into a, a good place. And he was just like, aha, uh -huh, I'm going to fuck up the plan. Yeah, all of these guys can explode if they wanted to. But I think they're kind of focused. Oh, well, nope, they're throwing self destructs in the, the shadows from which I cannot see. And I'm fairly certain if I took a step forward. Okay, good. All of them are dead. Again, the game is rude going, haha, you fool, you idiot. We're going to place. I think we've gotten so many, like, ah, oh, yes, the exit is in a monster house. And even one, the entrance is in a monster house. Like, I could understand it slightly, but I think, for the most part, like, the floors that could have monster houses had the exit as a monster house, which is just. Well, just the darndest thing, don't you think? And I think I'm severely overleveled for this, quote unquote. It could still probably kill me if it wanted to. Okay, we have all the HMs of the relic and never have to go there again if we don't want to. Like, if I want to gather, like, Miyu as a character, I could go there. That, uh, that dungeon run took me an hour and 32 minutes. Let's round it down to about 100 and uh, 100. An hour and 25 minutes for all of my finagling and brain rotting. Ah, just a bunch of C's. I'll quickly grab Shane. We'll manage our inventory, and then I guess we will go to that uh, lightning field. If ba ba, ha fa ha ba. I would like to store like all of my inventory. Like all of my inventory. We'll keep a few max elixirs and not that many reviver seeds. Yeah, it seems like a balanced thing. And now that we beat that, we should no longer have the buried relic be like, hey, go here, hey, go here. Because I no longer need to, I beat it. Suck it, buried relic. Let's go to Lightning Field. Do I need an HM to get in? No, I do not. Oh, with Surf, because it's across the continent. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of weird, because we, we've gone to other places across, like, the sea. I have friend zones. Uh, friend zones. <laughs> friend, like, places that are across the sea. But fine, we'll grab surf. What's oh, here somewhere? Get one surf. Like, I have ten tons. I'd be the talk of the town in TF2. But I guess while we're here with my billions of money, I basically got as much money. Granted, uh, some of that could be from my various runs through Mount Steel, but still. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club. You'd like to add your friend areas? What do we have? Hmm. I'll just buy him in order. I, I don't really care about adding to my, like, rescue team all that much, especially now that I can just say, screw you, I go through walls and water and lava and everything. So, yeah. Well, 
I'll just buy him in order until I no longer need it. I will be the biggest landowner in the world. Through the power of... Then again, it's kind of funny, because Wigglytuff technically owns all of these. And then he's just like, yeah, I'm going to sell the world to you, kid. Because he's a lunatic. And now we only have a handful of areas left. Granted, once we uh, get to a certain point, I I'm going to have to look at the, like, Wonder Mail like, uh, bonus dungeon stuff. It's not at the top of my priority list, but if I remember to do it, I'll remember to do it. Okay, now that we have Surf in our inventory, we bought a bunch of places, we shall save again. And now we will go to Lightning Field and kick Raikou's ass. Game will be saved, it says, because it doesn't know who it's dealing with. I do find it kind of odd that they're like, hey, we're going to save upon entry. Why? But I guess I can set Shane back to hunting down enemies with abandon. Let's see, what moves? And yeah, your moves are unrestricted. And again, if I wanted to, I could just... Oh, hey, Blinker Seed. I think I have a mission to Fiery Field that could use you. It pays a thousand pokey. Sonic Boom! That's overkill. We're going to avoid you because... It, it does not just get rid of traps. It just makes it so that the first time you step on the trap, it doesn't annihilate you. Which overall I kind of like. It still makes them a threat if you're incompetent, but doesn't make it a pain in the ass just to play the game. If you backtrack, you have to pay attention. Which I like. Does it actually mean something? Once again... And eh, we're not gonna, like, super duper explore because I doubt there's anything of item relevance to me in here. I keep finding all these traps. Thank God that I no longer fear them. You wanna join my team? Too bad. I hate that my ally does that from time to time. Where he's like, I'm gonna get in your way. Especially because he was like in an all right spot. But then the game is just like, no, no. Your ally, he has to be in this like specific orientation of you. Kill him. <laughs> you don't have to kill him like that. It's like, yes, slaughter the slaughter the our enemy. Okay, brings out a nuclear bomb. I guess we'll check out the this row of items. Sorry, Magnemite. You cannot join my team. Because this is not a recruitment run. Especially because we are destined to fight a legendary at the end of this. A part of me kind of, like, even though I know that this would not be a recruitment fight against a legendary, a part of me does kind of want to, like, do that glitch of, like, ah, yes, have the boss monster have its, like, boss monster HP. Because I just, I feel like that would just be, like, the ultimate middle finger to the game that has, ha like, haunted me ever so slightly. Ah, you throw traps at me. Little dungeon key things at me. Well, now I have a boss monster on my side. How about that video game? 
You video game! You fool! You morang! A part of me wishes there was a way to, like, permanently upgrade your belly. But at the same time, that would also completely negate the, like, gameplay mechanic. Jesus Christ, game! Why? Two traps? On an exit? Are you an asshole? Ah! If it weren't for the fact that there were, like, there are genuinely decently easy ways to grind gummies, which still take a long time, especially if you can't do this. Like, if you were playing on original hardware, and you didn't want to, like, abuse that, like, quick save glitch that allows you to, like, basically guarantee rooms full of swag, like vitamins, ginsengs, and gummies, and you wanted to play the game legitimately, like, I feel like that would be just painful to even grind for. Like, legitimately. If only because, like, some things just take ever so slightly long. Oh, hey, it's a, a potential future. I'm going for Umbreon if I can ever find a Lunar Band. Be gone, you fool. Like, maybe I'll look up, like, uh, where the best place to get a Lunar Band is. That way we can at least have a team that is evolutioned up. Especially because there doesn't seem to be that many conversations in the post-game compared to the previous. Kill the possible future. Take hold of the possible present. Jesus Christ, look at all these traps! Why? Why? That's just so mean. I'm honestly surprised at this point that they didn't put traps in the goddamn, like, hallways. What the hell is a bounce band? Is it like things thrown at you bounce off? Yep, thrown out of items bounce off. Okay. Sure. Fight the possible future. Ah, it's a train of hell. Now part of me is wondering what an action RPG like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon would be like. I think that would be cool. The one time that it would be nice for you to use your bullet seed and you're just not doing it. I swear to God. If like the moment that like all of them are dead, don't you do it. Don't you, don't you dare good. If you're like, if you waited until the final enemy of that enemy train, because I did put your bullet seat back on. Yeah, you should have been able to use it. Jesus Christ, there's so many traps in this hellhole. There are so many traps after my ass. I'm trying to say die. Hello, Cacturn. What a brutal way to go. Shot with bullets. Although, I know it's just a relic of it being from the mainline Pokemon games, but in the Pokemon world, d doesn't the name Bullet Seed technically imply the existence of actual bullets? <laughs> then again, it would be kind of funny if there was like a Pokemon that was just like evolved with a gun. Other Pokemon evolve with, like, swords and stuff, so why not? Like, one Pokemon is a sword! So why isn't a Pokemon with a gun that ridiculous? Which then makes me wonder if, like, in the Pokemon world, if there are Pokemon that, like, forge swords. If they're, like, Pokemon Wars. 
And another intrepid Pokemon is like, let's make a gun to fight our Pokemon wars. Then other Pokemon will be like, we can't, well, we shouldn't do that. Because Pokemon, we Pokemon, we're just built with abilities to cause destruction anyway. So why build something that needs super extra training when Pokemon can just use the devastating abilities that they were born with their entire lives? Ah, uh, great. It is the mascot of explosions. Literally! Because the bastard is on the plates of my demise. Okay, just use all of your bullets, I guess. Another bounce, a rebound, who cares? We leave. This will probably be like a 25 level, I estimate. It's just the vibe I get. Especially because Fiery Fields isn't as large a dungeon as well, so it shouldn't be terrible. <laughs> but it, it is amazing! Just, like, what the IQ abilities have done for my enjoyment of this game. It's just like, yay! Some minor annoyances and not-so-minor annoyances have been completely excised <laughs> from my experience of these game. Of this game. Huzzah! Isn't it grand? I can just destroy walls. Although that is some a, a, a nice little thing to note is they did, like, make that, like, a thing that you can do. Grind the gummies and get the ability to, like, not have to worry about traps and go across terrain and through walls. It's like, it's nice that that is something that you can grind towards, even though it does take a grind. It's not super obscene. Like, there are worse things people have grinded in video games than, hey, this annoying aspect of the game, it's gone now. You don't have to worry about it. Although, granted, the, like, IQ star, like, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Like, restrictions where you can only have one IQ ability, like, per group of IQ abilities. And it doesn't tell you, like, which IQ abilities are in what group. Ever so, that's ever so slightly annoying. So you kind of have to just play around with it and just like, ah, that one won't let me put a star on this one. At first I thought, like, once I learned that... IQ stars, my brain was like, ah, so what if I just need to allocate them smartly and it's not, like, automatically taking ones off? And then the game is just like, nope, they're in groups, which is kind of sad. I guess understandable, because they don't want you to just, like, be that overpowered by having... Oh, Jesus Christ! Why is it always traps that are back-to-back -back like that? Like, it's one thing if the traps are, like, spread across the dungeon, but it's just like, ah, oh, yeah, trap, and then another trap, you fool. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful that I don't have to deal with... Oh, that would have pissed me off if I was, like, if I didn't have traps here. The first, like, step I take. Trap. <laughs> so painful. I still think that the, like, balancing of traps could have been better. Like, I guess on the one hand, it is nice that the game is ever so slightly anticipating you to eventually just be immune to traps. But at the same time, it's slightly annoying that traps are that, like, powerful. Because, again, some of those, like, especially because you run into multiple traps per level sometimes, that it can just be run-ending. 
and these dungeons are starting to autosave upon entry. So it's just extra rude. It's one thing if you go into a dungeon and you're like, ah, oh, this sucks. I've been hit by RNG to the point of pain. Like, sure. Being able to then reload your experience, like, from a safe point is nice. And then the game is like, ah, you fool, you meringue. We have auto-saved before you went into the dungeon, forcing you into this failure. Which I suppose is meant to be like, ah, now there are stakes, but they feel ever so slightly artificial because... Like, of annoyance and botherness. But at the very least, you can excise those problems entirely. Also, I do love that you can just w walk through walls while confused. Well, annihilate this guy and then I guess maybe throw some Max Elixir your way. Because we are going to need those. Well, hey, speak of the Elixir. The Elixir of Life! We're gonna need all our moves we can get for the upcoming boss battle. I guess you could do that. Hmm. How many floors are there to this <laughs> And the game is just like, again, yo, you wanna get out of here? You wanna get out of here? Fine. Hey, this was a trap for me again! Granted, it was just like a confu- uh, Yeah, kind of a confusion? Is that it? I think so. Ah, Thunderstone. Too bad I don't want to be a, uh, a, what is it? Jolteon. I want to be an Umbreon. How dare you hit me. I do kind of find it annoying of, like, uh, there's odd little, like, uh, input delay. <gasps> Protein? Nom nom. I, I, I did, I thought that was a max elixir that I got, not a protein. Oh no. Why? Why have you come? This is Lightning Field. It is my domain. I am Raikou. One who races with lightning. A body like rolling rain clouds. A roar that echoes thunder! Many have trespassed upon my domain. But what became of them? Let me demonstrate. And you, too, shall experience the pain they suffered! And, of course, we are going to say... Uh, don't, uh, veer into doom. I'm going to, uh, throw a shadow ball at your face. And now I'm going to throw sand in your face, and then my face in your face. Huzzah! How dare you! How... How did this happen? But regardless, you have won. Let me hear your wish. I have a feather! Hmm? This? This is the Red Wing. You, stand back! I shall supercharge your wing! Raikou's Thunderbolt electrified the Red Wing! The Red Wing transformed into the Sunset Wing! does look pretty. Its subtle gradation of yellow to red is a truly beauteous sight. Go northeast to a place called the North Wind Field. You will find a Pokemon there named Suicune. Suicune? If you are lucky enough to meet Suicune, perhaps your wish will come true. And gained access to the North Wind Field! I do feel like the one thing that I feel like they should have done for the post-game 
is make it more expedient. Because I understand the want to, like, include the, like, HMs of the games. Like, ah, these are Pokemon things. I'm gonna accept at least one to annihilate so that it doesn't clog my box. We will again visit Shane, add him to our team. We will empty our bank and our inventory and then head over to the Northwind Field. I do find it funny that it's like the fiery field, like the electrified field, and then it's just like the Northwind Field. Oh yeah, nothing actually important. And surf, Mac uh, apples, we'll, we'll take one, two, we'll take two max elixirs with us just to be safe. Max elixir, there's a music box, max elixir. I do indeed love this game too. <laughs> Granted, I did run into a bit of annoyance with uh, my first experience with the buried relic. And, uh, bu -bu -bu and kind of grew to be very annoyed by the traps of the game. But after I grinded uh, the IQ, and now no longer have to deal with traps, and have also become decently overleveled, that uh, unless I do the actual super challenging dungeons that lower your level to level one, I don't feel like I'm going to be, like, annihilated. Paranoia save state, because yes. And off we go to the North Wind Field. But yeah, again, there's like Fiery Field for Entei. Lightning Field for Raikou. I guess Suicune is kind of wind, but it, it just feels out of place with the other field motifs. But either way, let us go and beat up Suicune. Wait, oh, darn you, game. You're like, ah, yeah, we're going to <laughs> default to no. Especially hilarious. I guess I understand, but still. I was in a grandiose moment of declaring my intent to destroy thee. That bodes so poorly. <laughs> it's like, surprise! The first action you have done reveals a trap. Oh, thank you, Trapseer. Thank you, Trapseer, for me and Trap Avoider for allies. I wonder why there's, like, why is a bug in the, like, frozen water area? Ice beam. Hmm. Out of paranoia, I shall charge ahead ever so slightly. I can always come back and, like, look for items. Darn thee. Confusion, please don't warp me. Into the wall I go, I guess. Please do not warp me, please do not warp me. Game, please. Ah, uh, thank you. That would have been slightly aggravating if the Confuse Ray waddled me into a trap. Alright, I will set Shane to not use Bullet Seed, but I will allow him to go hunt down the fools of this dungeon who get in our way. We'll see what interesting items this Northwind Field has to offer. We did find a lightning stone in the lightning field. So maybe there might be other interesting evolution items in this place. Ha! <laughs> you fool, you thought you could lead me into a dead end. I break the dead ends. I make the dead ends dead because they are no longer dead ends. I just adore the music of these games. They just have a nice feel to them. Be gone, Poliwag. You make it rain. Which is poor for you, and then suddenly bugs. Oh, 
Well, that's rude. He is my... Quit trying to confuse everyone. <laughs> Volbeat blinked. It caused itself to blink. That's a disturbing sight to imagine. <laughs> Jinx licking another Pokemon. Oh boy, an apple. 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 Hey, apple. Jesus Christ. Sumera, leave my friend alone. <laughs> I just realized after like the fifth hit that my guy, my poor, poor teammate was just being annihilated. Ah, we're... <laughs> teammate will want to kill you anyway, so we shall annihilate you and then take our way away. We can assume that this is probably another 30-floor dungeon. Which is pretty decent. Once again, it, it blinked. What does that mean? What is the Volbeat doing to cause itself to blink? Chain, you cannot swing your tail around the corner. You fool. Because of how the, like, water texture overlays on the P.E.K.K.A. Berry, my brain was just like, what the hell's that item? Took me a moment to realize it was just a normal item. I'll check this out. Defense Scarf. Apple. Annihilation and death. Alright, just a, a conga line of dead people coming in. Oh, hey, it's that guy. I don't know your name. Crawdont. I believe you evolved from Corfish. See if there's anything over here. Ah, it appears to be death. Well, that's rude. P uh, you bastard! You motherfucker! <laughs> Knocking my goddamn scarf off. You motherfucker. You double motherfucker! This feels annoying. Fine, I'm just gonna run out your diddly D and then once it goes away, I'm gonna annihilate your soul. Congratulations, you are now dead. Thank you. Thank Jesus that I have, like, the ability to go into water in case it, like, caught me at a corner and threw my scarf into the water. I think that's the only stamina band that I have, so that would have pissed me off if I lost my stamina band. Again, don't know if it, like, actually stacks with the IQ ability that lowers the amount of, uh, like, lowers how fast your belly, like, uh, falls away. But I just like to have it on just in case it does. Indeed, actually, uh, synergize with the IQ ability that makes your belly last longer. I'm just gonna smash through that. It's like that trap was laid specifically for somebody like me. You bastard. I was like, why? Why do you exist to harm my mental? Oh. I, th I The reason I didn't attack again, like, with an actual ability is because for a moment there, I thought that he used Protect, like, immediately. I'm just like, oh, well. No, it's just like he decided to do an animation that looked like it. He likes to... He likes to psychologically torture me. Die, you monster. This world ill needs a savior such as you. Well, at least, at least uh, I don't think that I'm in an area of, like, losing my stamina band. Because that would just be nightmarish. I'm just going to do this, or my ally can just kill you. The game desperately trying to remind me. 
<laughs> That's just like, <laughs> be careful. Damnation can round any corner. <laughs> it says as a Slimer icon appears on the floor that taunt me of its existence. <laughs> Meanwhile, of all the way through my desperate ranting, just nice calm music plays. You bastard. Quit bubble beaming me. It's like the game knows we're going to haunt you with Crawdont. <laughs> Three! Three! All next to each other, two explosions that could kill somebody! Oh my god! I think I would have rage quit if that happened. I would still be in my paranoia safe scum all the hell to Sunday. Why would Bubble Beam not heal Azumarill? I guess only certain water Pokemon have the ability to heal from, like, bubble attacks, I guess? But yeah, <laughs> if, if I did not have Trap Seer, I would be, like... Just utterly afraid of late game dungeons. Absolutely, totally, nightmarishly afraid. I would be save scumming every room. Three traps all next to each other. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Again, with things like that, it is a surprise that they didn't have traps in the tunnels. Like the little between-room areas. You might say, oh, that's going too far, but oh, but having three traps all next to each other? That's okay? Because it's just the worst thing, because you might, like... If you're actually doing, like, uh, rescue missions a lot, you might go from one dungeon that has no traps at all to a dungeon like this that's like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Suffer immensely. I'm so infatuated that I can do nothing but get smacked. Pokemon. In which we are going... <laughs> Pokemon. I use the move Domestic Violence. It even has double slap. It is domestic violence. Ah, oh, just thank the Lord for the diddly dang IQ abilities. If the IQ abilities were not there, I would suffer so much. I I love this game, but the late game. Okay, that's just mean. We're gonna do... The random number generator decides I'm going to make a perfect line, and then I'm gonna put a small wall there to taunt you. I do find it odd that the AI... Constantly wants to use, like, moves around corners when it just doesn't work. Maybe there's an IQ, like, partner-only ability that's like, Ah, I am smarter about my use of moves now. I could see that being a thing. Also, we d dangerously got close to the uh, trap just blocking the way to a room with that Grimer. That Grimer spot. Like, on the one hand, the traps, are, like, are very much in character for, like, the mystery dungeon itself. 
Where it's like, aha, you fool, you come into my domain, you are going to suffer. Like, as an actual thing in-universe would make the Mystery Dungeon super dangerous. Especially later ones. Oh, these traps. Every single time I see... <laughs> Every single time I see one, I'm just horrified. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, IQ abilities, for saving me. Thank you for taking me away from the pain. So many traps. So many traps. And just imagine there are probably many, many others that I'm not running into. I'm gonna have to read, like... You have u used up your allotted abilities, so I'm gonna give you a max elixir. And I'm going to disable your abilities, because, uh... Oh, no. Sin, no, I do not. I want to moves. Farewell, I think, should be at, like, the bottom. The bottom of that selection screen. Be gone, Poliwhirl. How dare you make me fall asleep? <laughs> what are you gonna try to do? Give me hypothermia? I'm gonna set you asleep, and then I'm going to summon down the rain. He blessed the rains down in North Windfield. Get rid of this corner so that my ally doesn't go crazy. But then again, I already I disabled this ability, so wouldn't even be able to do that. And since we're right here, we'll see if there's a room right over here. And there's not. We will kill this delicate Eve after I fall asleep. You bastard. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. But yeah, I cannot understate just how relieving it is. The power of the IQ abilities. It's like the game... Like, the game, like, begins with, like, nice and calm enough. But then the more and more dungeons you go through, the more and more horrifying the dungeons get. Until you finally get to, like, the dungeons that are like, oh my god, if I step through there, I could die. And then you, like, level up your IQ to the point that it basically comes all the way back down again. Which is kind of funny to me. While you're wandering through a blistering field, remember to stay hydrated. An actual rescue team would need to stay super hydrated. And fed. Fourteen pokey in a late game late game dungeon. That's just insulting. What next? You're gonna put a stack of one singular pokey in a the middle of a monster house? How dare you attack me and do no damage? You must die. I no longer have to fear you traps. Through the power of eating my Flintstone gummies, 
I have become intelligent. Every single time, it's like the game knows which way I want to get off the water, and it's like, I'm going to place your partner right there to make it a pain in the ass to get off the water. This is why. Why must you do that? Yes, use hypnosis on the insomniac. You utter fool. Your meringue. And we'll just leave them. Kind of go fast through. See if we can find like then again. I don't know, the, like, what the drop rate is for, like, evolutionary items. Hello, Deli Bird. So I don't know. Because that's one of the main reasons why I'm, like, wandering around the dungeon as much as I am and not just beelining it towards the end. Is because, what if I do run into a potential evolutionary item? Like, what if there's a lunar band that I want in here? So that I might ascend to Umbreonhood. Die, Birdman, attorney at Christmas. What? Why is there a gold band in a wall? <laughs> what? What the hell? I am very confused right now. I just like, ah, I'm just going to make a shortcut through this wall. Fortunes. <laughs> what the hell? That's just very odd. Very weird. I think that's like the second gold band I've seen in the game, maybe, I think. And it was in a wall. Why would you do that? Well, at least we'll be slightly richer. Well, time to slaughter the deli birds. I give you a present. And now you will die. <laughs> I give you a present. The gift is death. Or healing. You would be a terrible ally to have in this game. Imagine you bring deli bird as your partner into a dungeon. You go up against a boss. It throws out present, fully heals the motherfucker. And are you protein? Ingest that protein from off the ground. Yum yum. Funnily, a part of this really makes me just super excited to see... Because it's been forever since I played, like, Explorers of Sky. Literal years. So it'll be very interesting... To see, like, if they, like, super duper improve upon everything that this game does. I could see them doing that. Because, again, it's been a long, long time. I know that a lot of people praise it as being an improved thing, like, when it came to the story, at least. It's been five billion years since I played it, so... That'll be very interesting to get to. It's only a... 
Oh, <laughs> I was like, it's only a 20 floor dungeon. No, it's a multi floor dungeon, but it has a palette swap midway through. That makes me wonder if this is a 40 level dungeon as opposed to a 30 or something. We'll have to wait and see. Die, Birdman. The fuck did you do? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Deli Bird uh, heard me talking shit. So it decided to fucking respond. Okay. Death or glory attack, I guess. I'm just gonna pace in place in this room so I can heal up, I guess. Just in case. Like, I don't think getting hit by a present from Deli Bird will be... likely to do that again, but... I'd rather not get one-shot by a Deli Bird. I am in pain. Okay. New plan. We are going to steamroll this goddamn dungeon, and I'm going to come back with a key! Because I want that! I do not know what it is, but I know that I want... At the very least, this isn't a 99-floor dungeon of hell, because... You bastard. Because, uh... That's the one thing that really ticked me off about, uh... Uh, the Buried Relic. Is because it's a 99 floor difficulty spike. With multiple, like, lull, you need keys, but we're not gonna give you keys. Like, again, I don't know if they actually are gonna have keys in here. That we can pick up. Or if you can, like, only get them in the solar cave for some reason. Which is just stupid to me that they would have locked away thingamajigs that you can't get to. In my mind, the best way to design dungeons like this would be to, like, have it so that there is one key on the dungeon floor with the lock. That's how I feel about it. I just feel like that would be more fair. Yep, it looks like we're not going to be able to get that, so we're going to... I don't want you to join my team! Fuck off! <laughs> I wish there was, like, an option. Auto-decline all, like, recruitments except for legendaries or story events and stuff. Because it's just kind of annoying when you're in a dungeon and you're, like, you have a singular purpose. And the game is like, would you like this random Pokemon to join? No, they're going to be a waste of a reviver seed. They're going to die instantly. Yeah, we're just gonna just bust on through. Then I'll look up, like, a, like not a guide, but, like, a description of the dungeon to make sure that there aren't any other mysteries that I'm missing out on and just didn't see. But, yeah, I didn't expect there to be a lock in this dungeon. Just did not see that coming. So we're just gonna plow on ahead, do the story aspect, then come back and grab the, again, multiple traps on a single goddamn thing next to each other. Were you randomly generated by Satan? You whore. Deli Bird, why? Like, seriously, that... It either fully heals you or does, like... 90% of your health. Eh, you can survive that. You can do well, Shane. How dare you hit me. You hit yourself for more damage than you hit me, you stupid polyrath. There are so many traps! Why? 
Like, I know I'm immune to them to the mo- like, upon first meeting, but still... It is nightmarish to see that possible past, future, present, where the game laughs, laughs at you and goes, lol, 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 you idiot, how dare you play the game? So many goddamn traps. Oh no, it's the ba it's the deli man. It's the deli man. The deli man is here for your soul. The present thrower must die. Once again, I do not want you on my team. And again, we're just plowing ahead. Get to the end as fast as possible. So that we can come back as fast as possible to unlock that locked thing on level 20. That is all that I want. Whatever is behind there. Unless I look it up and it's something I don't care about. Of which then I would have wasted a bunch of time exploring this dungeon. That's entirely a possibility that could happen. Kill that duck. Kill him. Make him pay. Make him pay for existing life tax. Random rain. Die, you toad man. How dare you exist in my proximity. And we can indeed walk on the water. I don't know, it just looked weird, so my brain was like, can we walk on that? Probably, but we wanted to test it out. Die, toad man. Die, Duckman. And I'll just let Shane go and, I guess, get gangbanged as I run for the exit. I was just like, ah, oh, he'll just go kill those sleeping guys, and then two more motherfuckers just come out of nowhere. Another gets stabbed in the back by his friend. Peak cinema is happening in there. And they just keep all missing. Only for that one stick to do nine damage. Ah, Crocknaw. I almost called you a furligator. You can screech all you want, you're still gonna die. You can screech all you want, you're still gonna die! Ah, motherfucker. I shall walk through walls so my ally can kill you. You idiot. Kill the Toadman. Take his lunch money, his pitiful lunch money of 14 pokey. Well, let's go ahead and see. Is this a 30 level dungeon? It's a 30 level dungeon. Let's beat up Suicune. Halt! Why are you here? Ah, eh, because we have a feather. I do love that they're like, all of them are like, Halt, why are you here? I'm gonna kill you now. And then I beat them, and then I tell them why I'm here, and they're like, okay, and let me leave. They're all weird. Clear and bracing air. Crystalline, pure water. To stand guard over this beautiful and untainted land. That is why I am here. I'm Suicune. One who runs with the north wind. Intruders foul the air with their outside ills. There is but one solution for invaders. Expulsion by force. Here I come! And of course, we don't run in there and be annihilated. We shall throw a shadow ball at your face. And I shall get to throw a second shadow ball at your face. 
to make sure that his abilities are able to be used. And now I shall smack your face with my face. I wonder if I'll actually hit this time. 300 damage. And a level up. Now we're in the Nintendo 64 era. Ah! I have lost. I admit it, you are strong. I have a feather! This! The Sunset Wing! I see. You came seeking the Mirage Pokémon. Step back. Kyun! The North Wind swirled around the Sunset Wing. The Sunset Wing transformed into the Rainbow Wing! Ooh, it's very, very pretty. Glittering in the seven colors of the rainbow, this wing is beautiful beyond description. This rainbow wing, it is the key to meeting the Mirage Pokemon. Take the wing. Take it to the mountain so high that its peak is obscured by clouds. Yes, take it to Mount Faraway. The Mirage Pokemon is at its peak. Thank you very much. Gained access to Mount Faraway! And now I'm going to have to look up the Northwind Field to see what is behind that locked cave. Because depending what it is, I might just immediately run back there with a key. Because I think I still have an extra key. I think I do. I hope I do. It would suck. Let's see. I'll take this tiny and uh, delete it so it gets out of my delete. And now we shall look up the dungeon, the Northwind Field. So that I can see what is behind the diddly D. A locked chamber on the 20th floor contains the Lunar Ribbon. Well, we're gonna have to go back, because that would be the perfect end to the stream. Well, we're going to go. And did we do that? It's gonna be a speed run all hell. Alright, we're gonna have to go. First things first, we're going to manage our inventory. First, we'd like to store all the random things that we don't need. We'll keep... We'll keep all the apples. I'll quickly sell that gold... The gold diddly dee. Wait. Did it not take... I think it did. Maybe it did. We literally have one extra key. We have one extra key. I'm going to have to go and do a... First thing I see, nothing of interest. I'm going to have to go run and do a solar cave run at some point just to get extra keys to have on the offhand chance. I'm going to go ahead and put... my extra money away. And once again, key in hand, I'm gonna go get that Lunar Ribbon. It's kind of hilarious that it's like, oh yeah, sunstones, dusk stones, they can be found anywhere in these dungeons. You can just get them. But then when it's like the Lunar Ribbon, psych you moron, you have to find, you have to bring a key. It's a little funny, a little weird. And once again, we are just going to purely annihilate our way through so that we can find the exit as fast as possible. That is the goal.
And of course, it's probably going to be mean and put the, the escape in the farthest areas away from me. Once again, I shall preemptively turn off your move. I'm going to have you so you don't run after enemies. Because this is meant to be speed. God damn you. Quit throwing enemies in my way and let me leave. I need to get to floor 20 as fast as possible. I probably should have brought an escape orb. I wonder if we're going to have to fight Suicune again. Shut up and die. Play the song of your people? How about the funeral dirge? Congratulations. Your super effective is uh, only mildly irritating. There are way too many motherfuckers in this dungeon. Will you please die? I do not want you on the team! You block my path? Then you must die! We are here for speed! Speed! The speediest speed to ever speed of need! But again, it is weird that the Lunar Ribbon, a evolution device is locked behind there when normally it's like HMs and stuff or link cables if you get them again it's just very odd and again also odd that I, I do not I do not know the okay will you fuck off sleep spamming asshole Wake up, wake up, let me play the game. <laughs> I'd like to play the game. That's just annoying. And we shall just leave. Goodbye, fools. Ah oh boy, the bastard, Kronkdadar. Quit confusing my partner. You will die. Quit knocking off. It's just so weird. It's just like, ah, we're gonna do annoying things. Quit being annoying. How about that game? It's like it knows that I want to just get there as fast as possible and it's just torturing me. Ah, game by David. We'll just beat him up until he's dead. You may have protection, but soon you will just die. You can't be protected forever. You fool. You morang. Help me annihilate this fool. Annihilate him and his soul. Okay, I had to make sure that he wasn't going to blow off his, like, special attack band. Right as I got onto the escape platform. That would be very annoying. Congratulations, you have boxed yourself in to hell. 
Yes, kill your ally. Die. Why are there's Why are there so many traps here? That's so annoying. Extra annoying is that this guy just says, You fucking. Why? Why? I am highly annoyed, game. I am highly fucking annoyed. We'll keep that because maybe it'll become unsticky once we get back to town. But Jesus fucking Christ, game! Stop being an asshole! It's so annoying. It's like the game knows that that's the only way that it can do any damage to me is just being an asshole. Actual difficulty? No. Annoyance instead. Aggravation is not the same as actual difficulty. It would be very kind of you to stop. But I should have, like, other, like, special bands back in the treasure trove. You're an asshole, and you're going to fucking die. Become annihilated and dream of death. Like, seriously, why is knockoff even a move in this game? Oh, wow, it's enough. No. Some of these, like, items are exceedingly rare. And to just to have specific moves made to just uh, annihilate your <laughs> player's dreams is stupid. Players should be able to have some comfort and be like, I have this now. Kill this croc now. Kill him until he is dead. Cook him into calamari. Wrong species don't care. Transmute his very flesh into the flesh of another creature so that he might know pain. He will not even be eaten as himself. His very identity shall be destroyed down to the molecular level for existing. Personally, I feel like if there are no enemies in the nearby vicinity, I should just wake up immediately. I feel like that would be a reasonable thing. What's that? There are no enemies around the player? Well, just let them wake up. So they can get on with their shit. I understand if, like, you fall asleep and it's like, yeah, sure, it's like a, a turn waster for the, the player. Unless they have insomnia, like <laughs> my partner does. Which is partly of why I'm not super annoyed by sleep moves unless I'm in like a tunnel and I'm all alone. Technically. Because my ally can't just drag me back, he heft me over their head so that they can take the lead and annihilate the sleep monster. Again, just random items in the walls. I don't get it. I just want that lunar ribbon. That's all I want. You can double slap me all you want. I'm going to win. You might prove slightly annoying. 
for now. Jesus Christ, there are way too many traps. The only... Motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ, so many traps. Like, again, I don't mind them for when I double back onto them because I'm an idiot. But it's just like, still, there are way too many of them. The average player would not have grinded gummies like I did. Let alone know how to efficiently do it. They would be like, I have to play the late game dungeons to get gummies efficiently. When no, there are other ways to do it. Why? I do find it funny that Infatuated exists as well. Because it's a functionally just Sleep 2.0. Except insomnia doesn't stop it, and it affects, like, all genders in this game, because gender isn't implemented, I think. Pokemon Red and Blue Rescue Team say everybody's bisexual. I feel like the game knows I'm going for the Lunar Ribbon. So it's trying to put me off as much as possible. You bastard. I feel like I should be able to move while infatuated. But I guess they're like, oh, we don't want you to actually be able to circumvent it. Why not? It's n I'm not, like, falling asleep. Like, infatuation to me should be like, ah, oh, you're... This Pokemon doesn't want to attack the other one, because it's infatuated, not... I have literally become lobotomized to the world around me. Like, again, that would make it slightly different from sleep, as opposed to being like... N like, the get-arounds against sleep do not work against infatuation. Sleep, but uh, the loophole is closed. Quit attracting me. And you'd think that infatuation would like immediately end once the infatuation Pokemon is annihilated. Your Pokemon has to get over its infatuation because the object of its obsession is dead. We're almost there. We're almost there. Only six more floors to go. Carve away the ally can attack the enemy thing. And now we have to wait for him to get over his infatuation. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It's like, I didn't get the hit by infatuation that many times the last time I came through here just a, like, a minute ago. Again, it just feels like the game is trying to waste my time, as opposed to last time. It just feels weird. Jesus Christ. <gasps> Why are there so many traps here? Like, even though I am immune to them now, upon first touch at least... I still have sympathy for other people who would suffer the RNG that I have. I wonder what Suicune will say if they are there, because it's entirely possible that as a boss room it'll just be like, ah, nothing, there's nothing here, we return home. This is just annoying. <laughs> Because, like, I try not to do the super speed up thing that the emulator can do while playing the game on stream. Because I feel like this way I can experience the true blue game. God damn it. Motherfucker. If this keeps happening, though, I may very well just go, eh, screw it. I'm going to super speed my way through sleep and infatuation because it's just a huge fucking time sink. Like, it makes sense in the, like, more RNG-based main games 
where there are turns and people can battle. And I guess technically there are turns here too. But this is a single player game. So it's like just ever so slightly feel like you can change things around. God damn it. Oh, the urge to super speed through this. Oh. Will you stop it, you whore? Kill. Like, I swear, with how many times it, the game has initiated. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I see you, I carve paths so Ally can smack you too. It didn't even accomplish anything with that except waste my time. The game's like, ah, you have to go true anime. What's that? You want to evolve? Get a. I don't know, maybe get a power spike. I don't know if evolution actually is good in this game. Please don't. Don't you dare, okay? I swear, if you went with the time waste, like, attempt again of I carved out a path so my ally can smack you, and I can smack you at the same time, and then you're like, as my last action on this earth, I infatuate you so that your time is wasted. I would have been in pain. You want to know what also be in pain? If I hilariously somehow forgot the key that we need, and I somehow missed that entirely. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Please don't wander onto the explosive. <laughs> that would be the most hilarious thing in the world if my suffering were to continue. I think I might have- I would have screamed if that present did the super duper damage present. Ooh, I would have been unhappy. An unhappy little dude. An unhappy Eevee. Also, is infatuation like a form of mind control? Emotional manipulation? What is its classification? Then again, what is the classification of, like, the sleep-inducing moves? Because technically, is that just, like, super fatigue until you fall asleep? Where the f You motherfucker. I'm just gonna go through the goddamn wall. Asshole. How is it that the uber-long buried relic felt more merciful than this? Floor 20, here we are. The place of wonder, my glory. Again, unless I forgot the keys, some goddamn how, motherfucker. I have been paralyzed for some goddamn godforsaken reason. Here... Treasure trove, treasure trove, treasure trove, treasure trove, I give you the key. Give me my evolution ability! Yay. Die. And because I was a fool and did not plan ahead, I do not have a, an escape orb, so we need to run to the end. We'll let them come to us so we can annihilate them. Why do you mean Muck took no damage? How dare you? And what are you doing, Mucks? Crawling out of your trap tiles to come and torment me? 
you bastards. Now I really want to see, like, how Suicune will react. It's just like, did I not tell you? I don't like visitors. Yeah, this guy has a... Okay, good. It didn't do major damage. It just did some damage. Major damage here in your new army sector. Don't you dare. Don't you dare fling pleasance at me. We just need to find all the exits super fast. Super exit time. Super exit time. This man must die for his crimes against Christmas. I really wonder, is there has to be some kind of like anime special of an evil deli bird trying to destroy Christmas, right? There just has to be. Oh no, it's Krampus the deli bird out to destroy Christmas again. A, a sneak. Oh, that's probably just like, hey, you can walk next to sleeping Pokemon and not wake him up, which is uh, worthless to me. Then you're useless to me! Here, exit, exit, you motherfucker. Kill the toad for crimes of toadness. And what are you? Another protein? Don't mind if I do. Yum. Die. 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 Wow, war turtle, huh? Ah. Uh -huh. Fine, I'll bring my ally in to beat you up. That's weird. Either I ha like tapped it too much, or it decided to uh, ignore that exit. I'll just tunnel my way through. Because fuck the walls. If it weren't for me slightly worrying that the game would just throw enemies galore at my poor partner, I would go over the water. But you never know when the game will just be like, a swarm of deli bird has come to consume your ally. Your ally is dead. Ninja the action force. But it does feel like the majority of the annoying enemies seem to be gone from these sections of floor. Hey, an Absol! We already have one of you from hours ago. Literally. And Shane has joined us in the Nintendo 64 era. One more floor! Kill this toad man. The toad man is dead. Everyone rejoice. Two water stones? Sure. Guess I'll eat you. And go ahead and I'll take some evolution stones. Why not? 
Oh, you are a fuck. You try to fucking perish song me, you asshole. I don't know what that would have done. But it does sound good. Hey, Suicune, how do you get s feel about us coming back? You mean to challenge me by accident? I find little satisfaction in fighting. However, if you refuse my demands that you leave, I will accept your challenge. Experience it. My true power unleashed! Just know I didn't mean to actually do this. And now um, I should have uh, un uh, awakened my partner's abilities. Because you probably have a ton more health now, more than likely. So let's smack you down. Watch this, like, instant killer now. Yep. <laughs> and I guess because I don't have their recruitment area, I could not recruit her. Either that or it isn't a 100% and you can go through it multiple times and not win. But, all of that out of the way, frustration of the infatuation monsters over with, we can now go do a cool thing. We'll check the mail first, because you never know. Doubt there's gossip now. Well, silence. We'll get rid of you. Goodbye. And now, with the... Band in hand, we shall do... Oh, hey. I... I've given up on ever seeing the Mirage Pokemon. I... I've reached the limit of my endurance. I'm as tired as tired can be. I'll have to show you. <laughs> I guess I'll have to recruit... Oh, hey, you guys. What are you doing here? We found it at last! Yes! Found it! Find it! We did! My wish! It will finally come true! <laughs> hey now, don't forget about my wish! Listen, Ekans. We must keep this a secret between just the two of us. We can't tell any mo Pokemon, not even Gengar. I know that! Let's decide on how we're going to do this first. <laughs> I... I don't know anything! Me too! I don't know a thing! I don't know anything about making wishes come true! I know nothing! Well, I guess that kicked off a, a bit of potential. A voice emanates from somewhere. I'm going to uh, quickly do this in case... Because I do have a water stone on me, actually. Ye who seek awakening, this is Luminous Cave. Do you seek a new evolution? Ah, give an item for evolution. I give this Lunar Ribbon! Will ye give yet another item? No. Ye who seek awakening, let us begin. Neon is undergoing changes. Neon's appearance changed. It evolved from Eevee to Umbreon. Ye shall return if evolution is what you seek. I almost look kind of disturbing. The run animation is horribly, uh, lesser to the Eevees. Oh well. Sadness. I couldn't evolve into Butterfly. That's too bad, Metapod. I bet you weren't high enough in level, Metapod. If you train and raise your level, I think you'd be able to evolve. Oh, it's, it's my level. I get it all work at leveling. That is slightly disappointing that the, like, run animation for Eevee is... So much superior to Umbreon's. Luckily, I don't think there's that much more to like. Uh, oh yeah, we'll also have to see if the 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 band is uh, unstickied now. All right, that's weird. That doesn't function. Special band, so it does indeed seem to be good. Yeah. Good to know. Stickied items become unstickied upon returning to Pokemon Square. We'll go ahead and store most everything. 
and we'll keep Surf just in case. Next time, because we have been going for three hours, next time we will continue to seek out the Mirage Pokemon. And then, well, I guess probably what I'll do is I'll do a bunch of uh, grinding off screen for money to mostly see about getting the last of the friend areas that I can get that away. Because I think one of these is actually a friend area. Yeah. Escort me into Pitfall Valley. Which is kind of interesting. Though I doubt they'd put a legendary diddly D behind that, but yeah. I'll probably do some rescue team grinding on my own time gather up some money so we can finish off the friend areas we don't have and then we'll see about because I think I heard somewhere that one of the friend area like or not friend areas but like one of the things is like you can only like get a certain story event if you have like all of the like elemental birds but who knows? I will research, like, the beginnings to various things, maybe. And we shall see. I'll quickly save, save. How dare my house not level up with me. Evolve with me. But that will be it for now. Next time, we will go and see the Mirage Pokemon. I assume it to be... What's his name? Bibbidi ba ho oh and then that'll probably lead into Lugia and various other legendary Pokemon, probably. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, I have two YouTube channels, a edited content channel that I swear content is coming to in the near future, and then the streaming channel, Neon Icy Games, where I both stream from as well as upload these here streams for posterity and just looking back on. If you prefer to watch streams from Twitch, you can catch them at twitch.tv slash neonicywings because I dual stream. I'm not a partner, I have no restrictions. But if you want other such things like art, like my little avatar in the corner, you can see me post art to various social medias like DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Tumblr, Inkblot, and Twitter. Yeah. You can find direct links to all of those through my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, or the direct link can be found in the various places links can be found, bios, descriptions, link areas, the works. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you, and if, if you, I already covered that, silly me. But anyways, thank you. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.